Good morning, everybody. I am going to teach you a lesson on rounding. And I use the balloon strategy because I find that it is the easiest to understand. Because rounding is sometimes a, a harder concept. So we're gonna use the balloon strategy and I'm gonna show you and walk you through those steps. And I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll be able to round any number, two digits to seven digits. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. So, usually I would have a helium balloon, but I do not have one, so I'm gonna have to improvise again. That's okay. Um, when we use the balloon strategy for rounding, I'm gonna start off with just a small number to show you how it's going to work, okay? So if I have the number 67, and I want to round to the tens place, then I need to make sure that I know where the tens place is, okay? So I'm gonna do my little tiny um, place value chart at the top. Ones, tens. When I find my tens place, and it asks me to round to the tens place, that is the number that gets the balloon. So I'm gonna circle the tens place and draw my balloon string over to the ones place, the place before it, okay? So, this is how this is going to work. To decide if I'm going to round up or to round down on between 60 and 70, I'll write that up here. 60 or 70 are the two choices. I have my balloon in my hand. You hold onto your string. And again, if this was helium, it would hold itself up, but it's not. So when you have your balloon in your hand and you are counting, because you're holding onto the string, you're counting the string number, you start counting with your fist. One, two, three, I'm still holding it. Four, still holding it with my thumb. Five, when I say five, the balloon automatically goes up in the air. I'm not holding it anymore. I don't even need to count to seven. So, whoops, where'd my tape go? My tape just messed me up here. I end up popping it. <laughs> okay. So when I count, I have one, two, three, four, five, and my balloon rises up. That means that I am going to go to my balloon and put a plus one above that balloon because it has gone up. If my balloon goes up, my digit in my balloon goes up. So what's one more than six? I hope you said seven. So I'm gonna drop a seven down here and everything after that balloon becomes a zero. And you can see our choice was 60 or 70 and our 67 rounds to 70, okay? Let's try another one. I'm going to try a larger number. I'm gonna try 234, 234, okay? I am going to round to the nearest 100 on this one. So I'm going to do my place value chart at the top. This is ones, tens, and hundreds. When it tells you to round to the nearest hundred, I'm going to put my balloon around the hundreds place. So here's my balloon, and my string is always going to go to the place right before it, which is the tens in this case, okay? So then, I get my balloon ready. Everybody can do this at home. I get my balloon ready, just your fist, and I am going to count to three. Holding my balloon, I'm going to count to three and see what happens. One, two, three. I'm still holding my balloon. It did not go anywhere. So if I'm still holding my balloon, that means nothing changes in the balloon. It stays the same. So 
I just simply drop down that two because I'm keeping my balloon in my hand. I'm keeping that two. And every time I round, everything after that balloon becomes a zero. So I have this zero and this zero. So 234 rounds to 200, as close as to 200, okay? Let's try some more. We're gonna keep getting larger, okay? I have 5,827. I am going to round this number to the nearest thousands place. So to remind myself and to keep practicing my places, I'm going to label them ones, tens, hundreds, and this is going to be my thousands place. I was asked, or I'm just saying, I'm going around to the thousands place, so I'm gonna put my little reminder up there, okay? When I go to round to the thousands place, I have to think of my balloon. That's the number that gets the balloon. And my tape just does not want to cooperate, just like everything. There you go. That's the number that gets the balloon, okay? So I'm gonna circle with a dry marker. <laughs> I'm gonna circle this, put my balloon around the digit five, and I'm going to draw my string to the digit eight, which is in the hundreds place. That's the one that determines what happens in that balloon. All right, so everybody get their fist up. We're going to count to eight, that string. We're determining if our string is going to leave our hand, which means it goes up, or if it stays, which means we keep what is in the balloon, okay? Here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even need to go to eight because when I say five, anything five or above, it's automatically going to go up. So I'm going to go to my balloon. And since my balloon went up, I have to add one. The balloon went up, so the number in the balloon goes up one, okay? So now I need to write my answer. Whoops, there goes my balloon. Five plus one is six and everything after that balloon becomes a zero. I hope you said zero. So I have one, zero, two, and three. I'm gonna put my comma back, and my answer is 6,000. 5,827 rounds to 6,000. All right, I hope you're finding this pretty simple to catch on, okay? Um, let's do another one. Let's do 64,375. 64,375. I want to round this one to the nearest hundred. Okay, so I'm gonna label my places, ones, tens, hundreds. That is where I'm going to round to. So, since I said I'm rounding to the nearest hundred, that is where my balloon goes. My balloon goes around that digit three in the hundreds place. My string goes next door and my balloon goes to the floor. How about that? So everybody get their balloon in your hand, get your imaginary balloon, and we're gonna to count to seven and see if our balloon goes up one or if it just stays the same. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. If you looked up, your balloon's gone. That means that we need to add one to our balloon. It has risen. 
up to the sky, okay? So we bring down three plus one is four. Everything after that balloon becomes a zero. So we have two zeros to put. We cannot forget about the numbers that are on the front, okay? We still have a thousands place and ten thousands place. We didn't touch those, so they have to come back down. We can't leave them hanging up there, okay? We have to include all the digits. So 64,375 rounds to 64,400. All right, let's do a couple of more just so that we know we can get this. I want to do, whoops, 80, um, 3,276. This time, I want to round to the 10,000s place. Getting larger. So I'm going to just make my chart above so I know which one's the 10,000s place. I have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and that's the place that I want to round to. So guess what? That's where my balloon goes. I'm rounding to the nearest 10,000. There's my balloon and there's my string. My string is in my hand because that tells me what I'm going to do with the balloon. So we're counting to three this time. So get your imaginary balloon up and let's count. One, two, three. Oh no, my fingers are still holding the string. That means that the balloon stays and what's in the balloon stays. So let's do that. Let's drop down that eight and everything after that balloon becomes a, you got it, it becomes a zero. 80,000. And I like to make sure that my numbers are lined up so that I can see that I put all my zeros and I have enough places, okay? Let's move on to a number that is in the hundred thousands. Let's do six, three, seven, nine, four, eight. That number is 637,000. 948, okay? I am going to round to the nearest 100,000. So again, to practice my places, I'm just writing my places across the top real quick. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and I'm rounding to the hundred thousands. So my balloon goes around the hundred thousands place and my string goes to the ten thousands place because that's the number that I need to count by. Get your balloon up. Are you ready? We're counting to three again. One, two, three. I'm still holding my string. That means that that balloon stays with the number. So here is my answer. I keep it and everything after that balloon becomes a zero. My answer, 637,948 rounded to the nearest hundred thousand is 600,000. All right, are you ready? We're in fourth grade. We go to the millions. Let's try one in the millions. Let's do four million nine hundred seventy-four thousand six hundred thirty-five. That number is four million nine hundred seventy-four thousand six hundred thirty-five. I want to round to the nearest million. So guess what? 
I'm going to sort my place value chart across the top. Ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and we have our millions place. All right. Since I'm rounding to the millions, that's where my balloon goes. It's where I get to attach my balloon. And my string goes next door to the nine. So that string is what I'm holding right now. Pray then. That string is in my hand and in your hand. And we're going to count to nine. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. I looked up because there went my balloon. I don't even need to count to nine. So I know if my balloon goes up, my number goes up. Plus one. So my final answer is going to be four plus one is five. Everything after that balloon becomes a zero. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And then I have to put my commas in to separate my periods. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. And our final answer is five million. All right, I wanna do one more just to make sure that it's gonna stick, okay? I'm going to put the number 2,342,963 up here. 2,342,963. If you were here, I would say, what place would you like me to round to? So I'm just gonna guess what somebody would say. I'm gonna say that somebody wants me to round to the nearest 10 thousands, okay? Let's try that. So I have to find my 10 thousands place. Here we go. Ones, tens, hundreds, 1,000, 10,000. Bingo, there's my 10 thousands place. I have to put my balloon around the 10 thousands place because that's the place I'm rounding to. And it's a four. So my string attaches to the thousands place. And that's the digit that I need to count by. Okay, that's the number I need to count by. So get your balloon in your hand. And we're going to count to two. Are you ready? One, two. I still have my balloon. Do you? You should. So we're going to keep the number in the balloon. And here's how we're going to write our answer. We're going to bring down the number in the balloon and everything all the time after the balloon becomes a zero. One, two, three, four. So to the nearest 10,000 is 40,000, but we still have numbers on the other side. We can't leave those guys up there. They get lonely you have to bring them down as well. So we bring down the two and the three. The same amount of digits you need in your answer. Our final answer is 2,340,000. And there you go. If you're out and about at the dollar store, get yourself a balloon with some helium in it and do some practice that way. Or if worse comes to worse, use your hand and pretend like you're holding a balloon. It works just the same, okay? So I hope that you found this, um, not, I don't wanna say interesting, but I hope that you found it to be a good lesson that you can understand rounding, okay? I want everyone to have a wonderful day and I really hope to see everybody soon. Enjoy your rounding. Bye.